This is Howard Roseman again. I'm out here in Hollywood producing movies and television. And I'm going to discuss my producing seminar, The Hollywood Cell. Uh, we are going to uh, new cities, Austin, Denver, Vancouver, San Francisco, and Johannesburg. Today I'm going to tell you about how to get your movies pitched, packaged, and financed and distributed. I'm also going to give you a tip of the week, and I'm going to tell you about some Oscar tidbits. First, the Oscar tidbits. Colleen Camp has become the arbiter sine qua non of all of the Hollywood Oscar events. She, this year, threw not one, but two Hollywood parties. One for the fighter, David O. Russell is one of her best friends, and one for Black Swan. At the fighter party, it took place at her house, the very house that John Goldwyn, her former husband, grew up in. Uh, she tented the backyard. There must have been about 400 people. Everyone to Hollywood was there. Uh, among the guests, the prominent guests, were Barbara Streisand, John Travolta, Sasha Baron Cohen, Jeff Goldblum, uh, and Mel Gibson. At one point, Colleen came over to me. She was very worried about Mel because no one was speaking to him. And she said, you must go over and speak to Mel. I said, but I'm gay and Jewish. You know, I, I, he'll kill me. So needless to say, I didn't go over to speak to Mel. But it was very star-studded and a lot of fun. Then the next Saturday night, she threw a party for the Black Swan. She and Javier Bardem. And that too was star-studded. Uh, Sean Penn was there. Tom Ford was there. Javier Bardem was there. It was an incredible showing of uh, 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 acting talent, and producing talent, and directing talent. I met Bradley Cooper. I'm now going to give you my Oscar predictions in the wake of the SAG Awards and in the wake of the DGA Awards. Tom Hooper won the DGA Award for the King's Speech and the SAG Award Ensemble, which is usually foreshadows the best picture, went to the King's Speech as well. Everyone was thinking that the social network was the number one to beat, but it's really the King's Speech is the one to beat. I think it's going to win Best Picture, it's going to win Best Director, it's going to win Best Actor, uh, um, among many others. So the selling point of the week is, if you can't find your own material, make it up. You know, go to see that play in London. You know, come up with an idea of a book that you read in high school. I came up with the idea of Napoleon. And now I'm doing his exile in St. Helena and his relationship with the 14-year-old Betsy Balcom, who is the English daughter of his jailer. It's a true story, a part of his life, a very discreet part of his life. We waited for 25 years. We had several scripts written by some of the biggest writers in the business. We even had a French director attached. But now we have Al Pacino attached. We've enhanced the project, and we're now in negotiations with an A-plus writer from Britain and a very, very, very big director, uh, which I'll tell you about next week once it's closed. So, if you have an idea, in order to create traction or credibility, find a book that explicates that idea. Then you can find a director, and then you could find a star. These are my selling points. Take care. Go out there and sell those movies.